What's up guys, welcome back to another video. First of all, I wanna tell you guys, Happy New Year. Really appreciate you guys being here. Big plans for 2023 and hope you guys stick around for it. But today's video is gonna be a Big Cedar Trail. I'm gonna be showing you guys the rest of that ride. It was crazy because I thought Colorado trails were hard, but riding on these trails, which is mostly flat and gravity is not on your side, it's no joke, so I really learned a lot riding these trails, but I wanted to finish the ride off with you guys and show you guys what I was going through. But let me know, do you guys like riding those trails or would you rather ride mountain biking trails? I had the guys out there tell me they don't really consider that mountain biking. I forgot what they said, but they said they don't, a lot of people say it's not real mountain biking. Let me know if you guys think it's real mountain biking. I do, but let me know what you guys think. So with all that being said, Happy New Year. Let's jump into the video. I'm not sure where I am, but we're dropping in. Okay, here's here's something. I saw. We got some little jumps right here. We're going to drop into this and see what this is like. What's that right there? These trails are weird. Definitely takes some getting used to. Well, let's drop into this. this. What in the world? I don't know what. I don't even think you could get enough speed to even. Oh, this is pretty sick. Okay, so this is, this is kind of like a little jump line run. Nice. Okay. I might be able to do that. It's just hard to get speed in here. All right, guys, we're gonna sit in this in this jump line right here. Uh, I can't get any, can't get any speed. Oh, I can't get speed for some reason. Little pump track action right here. Still can't get enough speed. That sucks. I definitely don't think I was prepared for these trails. I'm so used to getting that uphill and then just going down for majority of the trail and you really don't get that here. You got to manually put that speed in. Gravity ain't going to work for you out here. I do love these wooded areas though. This is so beautiful. Feels so secluded.
Okay. Now that I'm riding them more, I'm starting to get a little bit more used to it. Hit this drop again. These trails really confuse me though. It's the only thing I don't like. It's just a big open space with a bunch of different trails twisting and turning and it feels like you gotta kinda know your way around here to really figure this out. But the good thing is is it's not it's not hard to get out of here so if you ever get lost you can pretty much follow the trail that you're on and you'll eventually reach a point where it'll tell you exit the trail here so that's a good thing I honestly don't know how somebody can ride a full suspension out here and keep the speed. That's impressive. But like I said, maybe I have these tires working against me. Oh, this is beautiful back here. Nice. A little greenery. These trails are definitely perfect for the Roscoe though. I will. I will say that, Track Roscoe 9, it feels in its place out here with all the roots and just the, the bumps that it has to take. I think this bike is, is the, is definitely the go-to kind of bike for these trails in my opinion. This would be sick if somebody hit this. This little gaff right here. It's closed though. I'll try to hit it too if, if it wasn't closed. It don't look that scary. <clears throat> Man, big cedar gets you in shape. But this is a fun trail, that's for sure. It's living up to the hype, I will admit that. It's a lot different than the trail I rode the last time. The Harry Moss Trail. This is extremely different. I don't know what that was. Tree was a little low. See, now which way do I go? Do I go right? I'm always confused. This trail actually has me thinking now. Is this harder than real mountain biking trails? And when I say real mountain biking trails, I mean trails that are actually in the mountains. Because when you ride these trails, you are in it. You really gotta, you don't move unless those pedals are moving. So you gotta always you gotta always be exerting energy. The climbs suck out in Colorado. Climbing those steep and long climbs, but at least you know, once you get to a certain point, you don't have to pedal no more. You can go down and the pedaling is minimal. But here, 
Man, you better be ready to pedal.